We do courses, 30-hour courses, and um, for the high school teachers. And it meets after school and on some Saturdays. Um, and the teachers can either receive P credit, professional credit, towards their next salary differential, or they receive a stipend for their work. And of course, they produce a product, which is a good thing. And um, I, we, in the second uh, history in the classroom, we started sort of chronologically with our course, and uh, it was conflict, continuity, and change, which was right in the beginning. And the most recent course, which we're in right now, is uh, the Civil War and Reconstruction. And um, actually, the crisis of the Civil War and Reconstruction. And um, the way we do it is we hire usually a, a historian that is um, about to get his or her doctorate. So they're young, very interested in spreading their wings. So that comes, actually a lesson learned, that comes with um, good points and points that you have to grapple with a little bit. Uh, the best thing is they will take usually direction, <laughs> so we come out with the product that we really want. You have to do very careful planning up front. And um, so how it usually works is I design the course um, over a period of time. And so I'm writing this course really without the historian. And um, I'm thinking about what is already written in the grant that says that we're going to accomplish. And I'm also, since I'm from New York, thinking about the New York State Regents, which I have taught for many years myself. So I like to hit sort of a balance where we're uh, getting some really interesting history that perhaps the, the um, teachers might be unfamiliar with, some more cutting edge um, sort of history. And then, of course, I want the history they're going to need for the assessment that the youngsters are going to need to graduate from high school.